Hey guys, what's up? Blacker Bricks here, back with a very special video for Wild Wednesday. So today is actually my birthday, and I had a really awesome day. Um, that's probably the reason for this uh, late video. But I went to Barnes and Nobles today. I'm sorry I didn't record any footage. Um, it felt kind of strange recording a video in the store. But I, I have the haul here. I just came back from the store, and I don't know if you know this. I might have mentioned it on one of my older videos, but in-store and online, they're having a 30% sale. They're not too, too many sets still left, but definitely go check it out if you can. So let me just show you what I got. So I got this awesome Jurassic World set. This is set 7 for... Let me just zoom in on it. All right, let's see... Alright, so here we have set 75935. It comes with a Baryonyx, Owen Grady, Claire Deering, um, Danny, and Niedermeyer. Uh, let's see, who is that? Sinjin Prescott, and then Red. So this looks like a really fun set to put together. I got this at 30% off. And yeah, look forward to maybe a review or speed build in the future for that set. Now, in addition, I got this set right here which is the triceratops rampage i'm very excited to build this set because it finally has another uh triceratops i don't think we've had a triceratops since i believe either the first jurassic world in 2015 or even past that in dino world and stuff so it's gonna be a lot of fun to put together and uh, there still is a couple of stuff left in the bag um i'm not gonna show you the receipt obviously but, even better, I found <coughs> that they were one of the few stores in my area that still carry the collectible minifigure series, or rather, series 19. So, I believe this series has been officially retired by LEGO, and uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch this at any deal. This was just retail price. But the only good thing about going into store, obviously, is the fact that you can fill out the bags, which is really a plus. Um, I did place an order for a couple of these on uh, Bricklink, or rather Best Buy, when they were 50% off. But I got so many duplicates and none of the duplicates that I really wanted. So I felt out four minifigures and I picked them up. I'll just open them up right now. So this first one is uh, a pretty big bag, so it feels like it might be the, uh, the mountain bike character. Let's open it up and see... It indeed is. <laughs> this was a really cool figure. It caught my eye because uh, as a, a pretty avid mountain biker myself, I'm so happy to see that they included a whole bike into this minifigure, which is really, really just awesome. I'd love to see more of these sort of minifigures in the future. All right. So next up, let's see, this is a crinkly bag as well. I'm going to go with this being the shower guy. This is another figure that I really wanted. It just comes with a ton of uh, useful pieces in general. And yep, I am right. Uh, this is going to be so much fun to put together. This is just a really crazy minifigure. It comes with this uh, very cool piece, which is a bathrobe. It, uh, yeah, it has a stand, and then it has his crazy expression, his bathrobe, everything. It's just a all-around really, really fun figure. All right, so next up, let's see. I, uh, I think there are only two left. I think this might be the dog sitter. And, uh, if it's not, then I, it might be the, uh, the older lady. I'm not sure which one is which. Yep, I yep that's the one, the dog sitter, and wow, this is uh this series is really crazy because even though it did have a couple oh I dropped the poop, all right so I I dropped one piece and then another piece came up so I'm gonna have to search for that later on, but. <laughs> this series was really interesting for me especially because I uh, I found a lot of the uh, characters that they included or made to be pretty relevant 
to uh, my my own uh, interests. <laughs> uh, I actually worked at an animal hospital for a couple months, so I appreciate the creation of this figure. They went as far as to actually include two dogs with the set, which is awesome. Uh, the Dashend is actually a new uh, mold, and then we got the bulldog as well, which is super cool. And uh, she got this little uh, green shovel and these two little poop pieces, <laughs> which I'd love to see what they use that for in the future. So as you probably already heard me say, we finally have the old lady over here. And uh, this is another really cool character. It uh, comes with this lawn flamingo. And what I was thinking is maybe if I, when I, when I go ahead and create my uh, Lego uh, zoo in the future, I was thinking, would I be able to use this flamingo as like an actual flamingo or would it only work? Because it, it does just have this normal stand instead of any legs. But then again, I wondered if Lego would actually be able to do a more realistic flamingo. This looks awesome as it is, in my opinion. Um, looks like the head and the uh, hairpiece connected while I'm while I was feeling the bag or something. And uh, she's got these crazy uh, leopard print pants. They're really just wacky, and this a uh, super cool uh, Hawaiian shirt torso as well. So another great minifigure. So yeah, I'd say this was a really, really uh, cool haul. Um, I'm so happy that they had this uh, whole deal going on right now. And yeah, that's it for Wild Wednesday, guys. I'm so glad you uh, tuned in for this video. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks and have a great day.